Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Just hear it. I welcome you to our Mass today as we journey on throughout the 14th Sunday of ordinary time. If you're watching in the hospital room or watching online, we um, thank God that you're, for your participation and your presence. We thank God for the blessings he gives us. We acknowledge sometimes our limitations and we ask God's forgiveness on your soul. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God now have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves with their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against you. How long will they, or will they be unable to attain the innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, not God at all. Destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the wild wind. The stock of grain that forms no ear can yield no flow. Even if it could, strangers will swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate for sin, his altars became occasions for sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as a strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, emulate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Our response to the psalmist, the house of Israel, trust in the Lord. The house, house of Israel, Israel trust in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. They have mouth, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trust the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with Lord your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. And the demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. 
The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee says, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogue, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Bible is like a gallery of shepherd images um, and of God also as um, a shepherd. When the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, he wandered around in the desert for 40 years and Psalm 77 describes that time and says, you led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 95 invites us to see the Lord's care for us in the same way, Psalm 95, we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. The Lord made a young shepherd, David, king of Israel. From David's time on, shepherds uh, were very much, uh, kings were very much called shepherds because their job was to take care of the people, especially the poor and the weak and the downtrodden. They were meant to have a heart for the poor and the weak and the downtrodden. If they did not, they were not faithful to God. The prophet Ezekiel, you know, in, who lived about 620 BC, speaks the word of the Lord to hung, hungry, hurting people and says, I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. I will seek the lost, bring back the strays, bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. In the gospel today, we see that Jesus has compassionate compassion for the poor and abandoned and the troubled who are like sheep without a shepherd. All the images of shepherd come to fruition in Jesus. When we're lost or troubled or afraid or alone in our problems, our good shepherd assures us of God's loving care. Whatever issues we have in our lives today, whether health issues, family issues, community issues, relationship problems, whatever they might be, let's open our heart to the Lord and let's realize that the Lord would speak to us in the depths of our heart. Let's come to the Blessed Sacrament for a few minutes, just sit and think, allow the Lord to speak to us through silence. We will not be disappointed. The Lord will give us his wisdom and give us the strength to accept whatever he sends us and also to help us along the way. May God bless all of you, your families and friends, as we journey on throughout this hot summer season. Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you now. And with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us pray. God of peace, who defeats the oppressor with love and redeems the victim with justice, we bring our prayers before you today. <clears throat> Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the church universal, that it may reject worldly wealth and power to embrace the staff of a good shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in authority, that they may demonstrate solidarity with their people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Our prayer. For all who presume that their will and desires are your own, that they may be humbled and shown the error of their ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from the ugliness of petty politics and poor relationships, whether in government, the workplace, or in family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our own community who are restless, that they may find peace and justice in you, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
for the sick here in our hospital, for doctors and nurses who care for them, for those who provide care in other areas of our lives here at Walt Reed. That God may bless them, that God may grant success in their ministries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We ask our Blessed Mother to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Confident in the peace, justice, and wisdom of your almighty kingdom, we dedicate these prayers to your care, and we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice as your means for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we them out to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. You bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, of, just his, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, him O God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, in the unity the of the Holy Spirit. Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command now, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord now be with you always. And with your spirit. Our future, then I will sign it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It's not possible for all of us to receive sacramentally. Let's take a few moments in the depths of our heart and make an act of spiritual communion for a few moments in silence.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass has ended now. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.